Ciao a tutti! Come state? Welcome to my video guys. My name is Rebe Bailey and I do videos on lifestyle videos, videos on Italy because I currently live in the north of Italy, a city called Torino. Let's get into this video guys. So six things, six things that might annoy you when you come to Italy guys because we all know that from country to country that you travel, there are different customs, there's different things that can happen, there's, 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 different, there's just a different way of life, okay? So, I'm from the UK, from Manchester, so I, I've noticed a few things that really, really annoy me, okay? And they might annoy you, I don't know. So, I've got the list here on my phone. I'm getting a... Um, I'm, I'm, get, I'm being triggered already by these things and I've not even started to read them yet. All right, so let's start with number one. All right, so for example, generally, uh, I can only talk for Torino. I'm, I'm in Torino, guys, and I can only talk for this, this city, okay? When people go out, for example, with their friends and they are standing at a bar, they will stand outside of the bar, congregate outside of the bar, and they will talk, have a good time, smoke, drink, whatever. But when they're congregating outside of the bar, there's also it's also the pavement where people have to walk, guys. People do not move. They will be completely blocking the pavement. Completely blocking the pavement. So here's the bar, and they'll be out here, and they'll be completely blocking the pavement but nobody moves, guys, when you want to walk by. There's no consideration, nobody, they don't think, oh, okay, well, you know, I am on a pavement, this person is coming towards me, they can see you walking towards them, I'm going to move. It doesn't happen, guys. People generally, you have to say, excuse me, and even with excuse me, sometimes it just doesn't work. And this is not only for people um, who are standing outside that bar socialising. Generally, when people are having conversations on the streets, and maybe there's a woman, uh, two women and, a dog, and their dogs, and maybe another man, four of them talking in the street, they will just stand in the middle of the pavement, and they will talk, and, and they won't move. You have to literally say, um, can I get by, please? You know, this is the pavement. Anyway, so that's one thing. If you've noticed this, guys, comment below. I'm not the only person that's noticed this. A lot of people have. All right? Another thing that might annoy you, but I've realised that this is a custom here, okay? And, and it's not offensive in any way whatsoever. Money does not go directly in your hand, okay? When the tender, you might put your hand out because in the UK or wherever else, we will put our hands out and then we will receive the money in our hands. Here, you can put, even put your hands out, but they will put the money on the desk or, or on the whatever. Just, it's not going in your hands, okay? Just know that. And it's not being rude, it's just the way that they do things here. If anything, they feel like it's like putting your hand out is like poverty. I think something like poverty, like you, why are you putting your hand out? Are you begging for something? A little bit like that. That's what I've been told. Again, if you know something different, please let me know. All right, so when you're talking on the phone, people, like for example, um, people answer the phone saying, pronto, pronto. So pronto is like, yes, or uh, speak. It, that, that's how it's translated to me, speak, hurry up. <laughs> speak, hurry up, talk. Pronto, do something quickly. It, that's how it translates to me. Uh, pronto, 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 pronto. Quick, quick, quick. Pronto, pronto, pronto. That's how we would translate it. But he, yeah, so to answer, when somebody answers the phone, pronto, you're kind of like, oh my God, I need to speak fast. I need to get my ideas out. I need to get my ideas across quickly. So, but it's just the way Italians answer the phone. So it's not being rude, guys. It's just something, it's just how they answer the phone here. So bear that in mind. I once was did the same thing to my sister. She called me and I answered the phone. I was like, pronto. And she was like, oh, oh, um, okay. She was really taken back by it. And I was like, I'm joking. This is the way that Italians answer the phone. Yeah. Um... Yeah. Another thing is... <sighs> when all right so this happened to me even today a lady had her pram 
and there was minimal space, okay? There was minimal space. And I clearly, I could have gone by first, I could have made myself a priority, but I said to myself, because I'm a polite type of person, I'm going to move here so that she can get in with her pram. She just went by, guys. She just looked, she went by, and there was no thank you, niente, nothing. Just nothing. It's like you expect you, you I did it for you, just the common courtesy to say, oh, thank you, I let you through. And this is not only somebody with prams, it's just, it's just generally, it's just generally, this is, the regard is, is just terrible um, in, with some people, okay, guys, don't come for me with, with in, in some cases. It's just rude, you know, if somebody comes out of their way to do something for you, you can just at least say, um, uh, so, um, thank you. But I also noticed with this, not only with strangers, I noticed it with um, friends, um, it, it, Italian friends, maybe like the, the friends of my boyfriend. So it, I, it's not done deliberately. I, I, I don't know, I can't work it out. Um, we were on a walk somewhere, for example, and um, a man stopped his bike to let us by. Everybody went by without saying, f saying thank you. I was the one that said, oh, thank you. I think if somebody does something to come up their way to, to be nice or to, to, you know, divert their path for you, you can at least say thank you. And this happens a lot. So if, this, if you know about this, guys, comment below and say that you, you, you've experienced it. Or maybe you might start to notice it now, which I don't want you to start to notice it. Notice it. But if you do come to Italy, just be mindful of that. Don't get angry about it. Just, you just have to um, adapt. And it also applies when, um, as I was mentioning before about people walking on the pavement, sometimes four people could be walking on the pavement coming in, in, in this direction and you're coming in this direction and they won't move. Sometimes just people just don't move. Or if they do move, they move right at the last second they will move. And that really can just be annoying because we all know the pavement is, is, is supposed to be for two-way two, two traffic. So yeah... All right, I think there's something else on, on, on the list. Oh God, where's the list gone? Yeah. yeah, don't expect a thank you. And you know, if you arrive here, you might know. So if you've come from maybe, you know, you're from maybe Brazil or you're from London or somewhere in, in, in America and you, and you come to Turin, I don't know, as I said, I don't know about the rest of the cities. I can't talk for them, but you might find the vibe just a little bit more serious than what you're used to. You know, maybe people's expression on their face is a little bit more, maybe more serious. Um, so I don't know if that's something that will annoy you, but it's something that you will, you will definitely notice, especially if you come from a more vibrant place, because here it's, things are very, con it's conservative. That is the special, that's the word, it's conservative. It's not bad, it's not wrong, it's just the way that, people are, but it's just something that you would notice if you come from a more, you know, lively, lively place. So like, for example, if you're in London, you'll see many people um, singing on, singing on the metro, or you'll see this, a busker, or you'll see like a mosha, you know, mosha is it their name? Mosha with the um, spiky hair. You just see all types of the, the diverse people. You'll see people on the train talking to themselves. You'll see people singing, but somebody might randomly start dancing on, in the subway. Here, you don't really get that. You don't get that, 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 that vibe. You don't get that, you know? So that's something different. I'm not sure if it will annoy you, but it's something that you will notice. Um, yeah, that's basically, that's, that's basically it guys. That's my roundup of things that you might not, that you might find different, that might annoy you when, when you come here. And um, yeah, so please don't take offense to anything that I've said. It's just something that, I know, that I've noticed. If you go to the UK guys, tr believe me, there's gonna be things that you're going to notice that, that you may not like. All right, so I'm entitled to, to um, to warn others <laughs> so that they don't get upset. That's, that's what the channel is about. It's about informing other people and letting people into the know and the, the, the reality of living in a different country. Okay, and if I can help, I'm here to help. All right, guys, well, thank you for watching this video. Remember, please, please, actually, before I go, can you please like and subscribe? I'm trying to get the number up to 200 before the end of the year. I'm, uh, I think I need 12 more people to subscribe. So please, you, 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 subscribe. Thank you and goodbye. Thank you for watching. Ciao.